Hello everyone, welcome and what we'll be looking at today would be the program for checking if a number is positive, negative or zero. Now, if you take any number, let's say uh, num. Now, if whatever value that the user enters, right, there are only three possibilities for it. Either the number can be positive or the number can be negative. Or there's third possibility that it's neither positive nor negative. Basically, it's zero. So that is what we'd be playing around with. We would be using obviously if else loop here. Uh, there's uh, uh, so let's go ahead and directly look at the program. So what I've already done for us is rather than wasting time writing the program, right? Because in that case, the video would become almost two times more long. What well, I've already written the program for us. And I'd be explaining you this particular program. Now, this is pretty basic, pretty basic. Now, here, the first thing that we are doing here includes studio int main. We are creating a variable called as num, wherein we'll be accepting value. So let's say if the user is entering 23, that, okay, tell me 23 is positive, negative or zero. So that will get stored inside num. Now, obviously, we are creating an interface using printf, and then we are scanning it using this percentage d, since it's an integer number, and I'm saying num. I hope that you do know all of that. Now, there are three conditions. Now, this part of the condition handles that if the number is positive. So what would happen, let's say, if the user has entered 23? So here we are checking that, okay, is 23 greater than zero? That is num greater than zero. So in that case, yes, it would be. And we'd be printing on the screen that, okay, the number is positive. Now, for example, let's say if the user has entered minus 10 as the value of num. So in that case here, it'll run from here, but obviously minus 10 is greater than zero. Obviously this is not true. So it'll go to else if condition that, okay, check if, okay, this is not true, but check if this condition is true or not. So in that case, what we are checking here is that whatever the value of num is, is it smaller than zero? So again, we are checking minus 10 are you smaller than zero yes it is so in that case we'd be going ahead and printing that the number is negative now obviously if neither of this or this is true so in that case there's only one option that is the number would be zero so we'll go ahead and print the else part now let me explain you so obviously let's say if the user has entered the value of num as zero so in that case obviously this will not be true because zero is greater than zero is it that no it's not it is equal to zero so it's false it'll check this same thing zero is smaller than zero no it's actually equal to equal to zero right so obviously this is also false so directly this is not true this is not true so in that case we just go ahead and say that okay else obviously the number has to be zero so this is basic explanation of it. Now, the solution of this code, you can find the link of this page from the description of the video. There are other codes that are really important too, like prep and start top 100 codes, where you can find all good questions. Uh, you click here on positive, negative number in C. So you land on, on this particular page. Now, this particular page has three different uh, solutions. First one is pretty basic, which is brute force solution here. Uh, this is what the one that we discussed right now. So you can copy it from here. The second one is using another approach, uh, which you can is easily understandable. And third one is using ternary operator. So link of this particular page is in the description of the video. So we just launched Prep Insta Prime subscription, which is like 150 plus courses under one subscription. So it has courses like C, C++, Java, Python, artificial intelligence, machine learning, cybersecurity, data structures, comparative coding, even company specific courses like TCS, NQT, Infosys, TCS Digital, Amazon, etc. The link is in the description of the video. Go check that out. I'm sure that you'll love that.